Hey everyone, so in this video I'm going to be talking about conditionals in Python and how you can structure logical statements. Uh, so let's start off with first declaring a variable, we'll give it x equals 5. So in Python, um, let's just say you had a program and you wanted to um, loop through some control functions. So you wanted to check if x was equal to 5 and you do something. Then you want to check if x is equal to something else and you do something else. So in Python, the basic if statement is just if and then condition, colon, and then you have to um, indent in Python, and then your statement goes here, your expression goes here. So let's just say we want to check if x equals 5. So like in other languages, to assign a value, um, a value to a variable, you use a single equal sign, and then to check if it's equal, you would use a double equal sign. So if x equals 5. So we're asking it, is it equal to 5? If so, then print x is 5. Uh, so if we run this code, we should get x is 5. Now, if we want to have um, more if statements, instead of writing if, 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 etc., you can do something like else if. So this is saying if it's 5, if it's not 5, check the else if statement. So else if, and it's the same, the same way you would do an if statement. So else if x equals 6, print x is 6. And then you can have a final else statement. So else is basically saying, if none of the above statements are true, do this one. Print else was executed. So here we should get x is 5. So if we make x 6, we'll get x is 6. And then if we make x anything else, 1,000, we get else was executed. So this is the basic control flow in Python. If, else, if, else. And you can have other else ifs as well. So you're basically, the program is basically doing if x is 5, it's not. So check all of the else if statements. If none of these are true, finally do the else statement. So else if x equals negative 6, print x is negative. So now we can have x equals negative 6, and we get x is negative, x is 5, x is 5. So this is just a basic control flow. And you can nest these statements as well. So you could have something like y equals 10. So if x equals 5, and then within here, if y equals 10, then you print both are 5, 10. Whoops. Oh, I, <laughs> hold on. I have an indentation error. This should work. Okay, sorry about that. So both are 5, 10. So if we change 10 to 11, nothing prints because both of these need to be true. So another way of actually writing this would be, so if x, what we're doing here is we're checking if x equals 5 and if y equals 10. So we can write that in one statement by using um, Python logical operators. So if x equals 5 and y equals 10. So right here, it's, we're getting false because they're not true. So we have to set it back to 10, and we get both our 5, 10. So um, this is just a basic logical operator. Then you can do something like if they're both equal, if they're not, print a Boolean false. So right here, we get both our 5 and 10. And then if they're not 5 and 10, we get false. Um, yeah, so in the next video, we'll cover... Um, logic and loops in Python.